Okay, hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about De Courvain's disease, but moreover, we have a very pretty lady here. You can only see her hand and a nice tattoo that she has. And what you can also see is the blanching of the skin over here in this area. Not only does she have blanching of the skin, this is the, the reason she has blanching of the skin in this area of the hand is because she was diagnosed with De Courvain's disease and she was injected with steroids locally apparently quite superficial, and this caused the blanching of the skin. It also caused the tissues here to die off to some extent, and she has very, very immense local tenderness. I won't show you her face while I touch her here, but she has a lot of local tenderness. All of this is because of the local cortisone injection. So whenever you are thinking of getting a cortisone injection, you can just see the blanching of the skin. You can see that the skin, the subdermal tissues died around here. And this is why, and uh, what you see here is me touching her. And the fact that her hand is moving in such a way is because she has local CRPS, complex regional pain syndrome. And she is in a lot of pain. You can see that she has very nice nails and she is very, very pretty, but the problem is that there is local tenderness here, which is complicated because this is the superficial branch of the radial nerve going down, and she was injected around this area. So at the end of the day, whenever you get a cortisone shot, think twice before you do it, and think twice before you get it if you are a patient. It's very important to understand this is a very, very big complication and we will be performing a neurolysis com of the SRN combined with the release of the first extensor compartment and hopefully we'll give her her hand back. Thank you.